Hey everyone, uh, I thought I'd try something a little bit different today. I got some things to do, so I uh, thought I'd take you guys along, give you a different perspective. Um, but I spent the last couple of days trying to gather as much footage as I can since I installed that Rock Euro intake. Um, but if you, if you haven't watched my last video, Man, I had a little bit of a scary moment there. Um, it happened while I was trying to gather footage for you guys about the Rock Euro. So I decided to try launch control. Um, I'll tell you, if you haven't seen the video yet, uh, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Uh, but I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. And for all you guys out there, if you're wondering what it feels like to have your balls shrivel up in a matter of 0.2 seconds uh, then watch this following video right here that was a bit scary you know I had my daughter on the car and uh, you know the conditions were great the weather was fine there was no humidity and I was like I really want to do a good launch control and uh, this was after I already gathered a bunch of uh, footage. Um, I did try launch control even before this happened a few times, but I didn't, I didn't do it full on. In this circumstance, what I did was I came to a complete stop, I turned off traction control, uh, put it in sport mode, uh, did everything what I, that I was supposed to do, but uh, I really pushed down the pedal as hard as I could to make sure the full brake was engaged. And then I just mashed the pedal. It was about 5,000 RPM. I let go and man, I was expecting the worst. My daughter had no idea what was going on. I didn't have anything, uh, any idea what was going on. I was just, I was expecting the worst. I was expecting to look in my rear view mirror and just see pieces of my transmission on the road. And uh, much to my surprise, I mean, it, it, it was fine. I mean, I drove a little bit. You know, the you know, it, it just seemed like it skipped gears. It went from S1, and if you look in the video, it went from S1 to D4. So I don't know if it just like the clutch disengaged and it just it caught finally caught. Um, but I babied it about a mile, and uh, after that, it drove normal. Like I pulled over. I checked under the car, I opened up the engine um, compartment, I mean nothing. No codes, no errors, um, you know, so I don't know what it was. I, I, you know, I posted the video on the forums, I was asking around and apparently some people were telling me that, you know, the TCU, the transmission went into limp mode um, because it detected too much wheel spin, which would make sense and I wish I can get 100% confirmation on that because that would make me feel a lot better um, but man I'll tell you what it was I was freaked <laughs> I was freaked out I didn't try launch control after that I don't know if, that I will um, I think it just launched too high I might try it and launch it maybe like between three and four thousand um, I just think it's just maybe too much torque but needless to say um, you know, I put on another about 100, 150 miles after that, and I, and I drive it normally. A couple occasions I've driven it hard, and it just it's acting like as if it never happened. So um, I'm not going to take it into Audi um, unless I have to. But uh, for now, I'm just going to chalk it up to the transmission going into limp mode.
and just protecting. You know, I mentioned in my previous video that, um, you know, Audi puts a lot of safeguards um, to prevent catastrophe in your in your in your in your car. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that was one of the safeguards that kicked in. So. I'm going to get gas right now because I'm low and uh, I'll be back in a minute and I'll take you along with me. Sit tight. All right, full tank of gas. Here we go. You know, when that launch control fail happened, Man, I was expecting the worst. I was telling myself, what the hell am I gonna tell Audi? Like, when am I gonna have time to go get this thing, flash back to stock? Am I even gonna make it there? Do I trade the car in? <laughs> All sorts of things were going through my mind, but I'm glad nothing major happened. Um, it just makes me love this car even more. Anyway, so on to the task at hand. So I finally got the Rock Euro installed. And uh, as you saw in the last video, it was an easy install. It took me like 15 minutes. But uh, overall, my impressions of it are, are very positive. The butt dyno tells me that I've gotten a little bit of an increase in torque and horsepower. I just feel like it's a little bit more responsive.
much going to do it for this video, guys and girls. Um, you know, thanks as always uh, for watching. And uh, like I said, if you have any uh, questions, comments, leave them below and I will answer them. Otherwise, it's not going to be another vlog for a little while. I am leaving for Arizona. Uh, I'm going on a camping trip slash hiking. Um, 